everyone. This is June Blender from Sapien Technologies and I'd like to answer in video form a great question that was asked to me on Reddit. How do I make a fixed size form? A form that the user of my PowerShell GUI cannot resize. So let me give you the answer. We'll start with File, New, New Form, and here's the simplest way to create a fixed size dialog box. From the Select a Form Template box, I'll choose Dialog Style Template, which creates a fixed border form with no Minimize or Maximize buttons. I'll click Select, and I'll save it. And you can see that I practiced at least once. And here, without doing any work at all, we have a fixed size box that, as the um, GUI author or designer, I can resize. But when I run it, and let's do that, click Run. The end user cannot resize. There are no sizing elements. You can see that no arrows appear and there's no minimize and maximize box. So that's really the simplest way to create a fixed size dialog. But what if you started with a sizable dialog and decided that you wanted to change it to a fixed one? Let me show you that scenario. Click File, click New, click New Form, and this time we'll choose the default empty form. Click Select and save it. And you'll notice that as the author, I can resize it. But as the end user, let's click Run. This box is sizable too. You'll notice that in the lower right corner, there's a dotted triangle. And when I hover over it, arrows appear that let me resize it. This box also has Minimize box and Maximize box icons that let me change its size. I want to eliminate all three. Back in Designer view, I'll click the form and go to the Properties pane. And I'll start with form, the Form Border Style property. The default is sizable, but there are both fixed and sizable options. This is the property that determines whether that uh, dotted triangle appears in the lower right corner. Among the fixed options, there are single 3D and dialog that determine the design of the border, but fixed and sizable determines whether the end user can resize the box. Let's choose the simplest one, fixed single. It's a single line border in a fixed box. And I'll save it and click Run. And as we hoped, there's no dotted triangle, no arrows, the box is not resizable. But it still has minimize and maximize box icons. Let's dispose of those. Back in Designer view, I'll click my form and go to the Properties box. I always make sure that the um, element that I want to change is the one that's displayed in the Properties box. In this case, there's only one element. This is a very simple example. But you always want to make sure when using the Properties pane that you're setting properties for the right element, in this case, the form. So Form Border Style is set to Fixed Single. And, but Maximize Box and Minimize Box are set to their default values, which are true. So I'll double click and change each one to false. And they disappear even in the designer. I'll save and run. And now our little form looks exactly like the fixed one. Um, there's no Minimize and Maximize Box and there's no dotted triangle, no arrows, no way to resize this box. Let me show you one more thing. It's kind of like a puzzle. I think you'll like it. So this little box is called, Is This Form Sizable? And I'll let you determine that. 
Let's go to the Properties pane, and you'll notice that the Form Border style is sizable, and the Maximize box and Minimize box are both true. So is this form sizable? Let's click Run. Here's the box. No dotted triangle, no minimize or maximize box. So it's not sizable. Let me show you how I did it. Instead of doing it in the properties box in the designer, I set these properties in my script. You could do this too. Here's my form, and I set the form border style property to a fixed 3D value, and I set the values of the maximize box and minimize box properties to false. And in this case, I did it in the form load event handler. So, just to recap, the properties that determine whether a box is fixed or sizable are form border style and maximize box or minimize box. You can set them in the script, or in designer view, you can set them in the properties pane. Thanks for the great question, and thanks for listening.